Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Well then stay tuned and watch this. Nation, how are you guys doing today? Uh, it's a little bittersweet day today for a few reasons, might I add. One is it's very cold in PA today. There's a little bit of sleet on the ground, but that's not going to stop me. Even though the sun was out earlier, it was a beautiful day out. Uh, and then as soon as I get off work, it's snowing out. But that's okay because we've got an important task to accomplish today. Sit back and enjoy this one, guys. All right, guys, today is the day that you've all been waiting for. We are going to finish the Banshee today. Yes, I said it. We are going to finish the Banshee today. And I mean every single thing on the Banshee today. I have everything I need sitting in the boxes over there and on the floor, all the tools I need, all the camera equipment is charged and we're ready to go. I've got a lot of stuff to do to this. I don't think I'm gonna video every single thing that I do to it, uh, but I will video most of it. Cause it's gonna take me way longer to get all the stuff done on this tonight than it is to actually uh, film everything and edit it. Uh, Cause I, do, I have uh, quite a bit of work to do on this yet today. So let's talk about the work first. We'll start with the front end, work our way back. Front wheels definitely need an alignment. I definitely want to scuff those uh, rust spots off of the tie rod ends, get that all aligned, ready to go. We got to put all of our lug nuts on the wheels. That goes all four around the quad. We've got to install our heat sink into one of the radiator lines. I'm thinking uh, on the way down to the uh, water pump. We've got to put fluids in this thing, get our uh, twin petcock installed on the gas tank over there, get that on. I have uh, Premix, gasoline, all right, typically I run automatic transmission fluid in my bottom ends for my Banshees only because uh, that's like a little known secret in the racing world. Now you do have to change it more frequently, um, but the upside to that is it's very, very good for your clutches as the wet clutch system is very, very similar to automobile automatic transmission clutch setups. So that's why it works very well in these bottom ends. And the fact that the crankcase is separate from the transmission makes it all the better. Uh, I got to put my spark plugs in, get the pipes uh, on for good. I got my brackets in for up here. We're going to put some copper silicone on the insides of these. That's a little trick as well, so you don't have to use a donut. Plus, I don't think these old pipes, they don't even make donuts for them anymore. We've got to get that silencer wire wheeled and get both of them uh, satin clear coat finish on them with the VHT uh, high temp 2000 degree finish. We got to get the chain on and installed. Ooh, wait. We also have to do the water pump billet gear, which I got that in the mail. So we can do that, put the gasket on, which is laying right there on the floor. Get that all situated and done. Get the back. Girl. Get the back. Get the back Blake. Today, Junior. Son of a. Get the back brakes bled, get the front brake lines installed and the front brakes bled. Get all the wiring on, the coolant overflow. Then we do the plastics. Uh, I wanna make mounts for the lights tonight so that the lights are on the quad. Those are the big tractor supply lights we were talking about before in a previous video. And then we should be ready for a first fire up guys. I mean, I'm gonna be here until this thing is done. I've got everything I need to finish it and I am extremely motivated tonight. So sit back and enjoy this. I have to get it in running and driving condition. That way I'm good for this Sunday. Uh, by the time this video is posted, I hope it's before Sunday, but if not, forgive me. Uh, but this weekend, Michael Sabo's coming up and we're gonna go ripping. But we're doing plug chops and we're trying to get these straightened out 
for when we get to the dyno. Uh, because that's the main reason we're getting these all situated because we want to dyno these four wheelers. Now, I know I'm giving away some of the secrets, all right? Uh, I've been holding back on you guys for a while. A lot of you have been asking like, what's going on with the collabs and stuff like that. Well, just sit tight. We got a lot of stuff going on. First, we're gonna go ripping, and then we're probably gonna do some dyno sessions in the background. Now, enough with my chit chat. Let me get to work and get this thing done. Dry fire with no coolant, take one. guys so we did manage to get this thing fired up as you can see in the video footage uh, it runs pretty sound I got to adjust the idle and uh, looked to be pretty good out the exhaust I uh, wasn't smoking too much or anything like that I just did 36 to 1 in one gallon to allow for the break-in uh, I like a little bit more oil on the break-in because everything's really fresh and until it expands and contracts from the heat and cold right off the bat that's why I like to go just a little richer on my first mix after that it's usually 40 to 1 um, but yeah, as you can see, it runs pretty good. Now I did run into a little snag and I'll show it right here. And what happened was 
I had two cap nuts that were leaking coolant, and this is a NOS head, and I've heard tons of complaints about them leaking out of the cap nuts, and they say just put a little silicone inside of them. So I did that. It did not seal the one side of the head. Uh, you'll see it just kind of seeping out of the side a little bit. So I wound up having to take the head off to see what was going on. Sure enough, somehow I managed to pinch an O-ring on the right front side. So I took that back off, fixed that. I'm letting uh, this set overnight, and then I'm gonna check it again tomorrow. But I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be good this time. That was the only leak that I had to fix on it. And uh, everything else is pretty sound on the bike. Everything else works good, clutch is adjusted. It's pretty much ready to ride, other than putting the rest of the plastics on, putting the lights on, doing the alignment and brakes, which I didn't get to. Uh, I stayed here until really late last night uh, trying to get this done. Also, I just wanted to apologize for all the tools and the mess in here. I don't normally work like this, and I know I tried to incorporate it as part of the cinematic part of this video, but uh, it really bothers me. So keep in mind, that's not how I normally work. Usually it's very clean workspace for me. So we're gonna do some finishing touches this coming week, and then hopefully first ride next weekend. So stay tuned. <laughs> Other than that, she's ready to rip. If you guys like the content I'm putting out there, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. So it kind of makes me like, oh, when I look at it in here, so.